Hello friends, Big Stupid Green here, and I've decided our next campaign is going to be one of the psych missions. This particular mod to Tabletop Simulator, I think it's the Arkham Card Game Super Complete mod or something like that, has a lot of side missions, and this one I wanted to check out. It has six scenarios, um, so I think it would be pretty cool. Check that out. Um, be as blind or semi-blind as I can possibly be. And before we start that, I want to show the investigator I'm going to use. And since I'm going to be talking um, about the lore and the story, of course, um, I'm going to be talking about Joe's story as well. So Joe Diamond is the private investigator. Joe Diamond is a private eye with a reputation for handling cases that everyone else regards as supernatural nonsense. He is thorough in his investigations and not one to be trifled with. His services have been employed by the wealthy as well as those down on their luck. No case is too large, too small, too strange, or too dangerous. In Joe's experience, things start getting nasty right when you start reaching the truth. And that is exactly where he likes to be. So he's the new seeker from the Circle Undone expansion. And he is a seeker guardian, so kind of the opposite of Roland, if you want to think of it that way. Um, he has a very interesting gimmick, too, which we will take a look at. Um, when in, in the investigation phase, you can reveal the top card of a hunch deck, which is uh, 10 cards out of your deck that are insights. These are events uh, with the insight trait. You can play it as though if you're in your hand at minus 2 cost. If it's still out there, you need to shuffle it back into your hunch deck. So this is the hunch deck. And we'll be playing with that in a second. Wanted to show you the deck I built. Um, it is mostly guardian help, uh, along with some of the staples of seeker decks. Um, I'm planning on get picking up a lot of clues through the hunch deck. I'm using uh, working the hunch, of course, and um, scene of the crimes. So that's basically four testless clues we can get. Um, fairly reliably if we keep playing our hunches. Um, we also get our main weakness in our hunch deck, but fortunately it's not too damaging. But anyway, I wanted to show off how the deck making process goes in this um, mod. You put in your Arkham ID, make sure you're um, turned uh, sharing on, and we got indebted as our random weakness, so I don't even have to show it to you. It's going to be out the whole time. Um, Indebted can be, I don't know, it's really annoying to take indebted, even though um, enough turns down the line, it's not going to matter. Um, you don't need this copy of Shrewd Analysis. I'm just putting this kind of for fun. I took two strange solutions, so I'm going to use that. and It'll add a little bit of randomness and uh, save us some XP. Um, my thoughts on Joe, I think he is a classic um, glass cannon character. His low willpower is a big detriment, and um, he only has six sanity, which isn't too bad, but he's definitely going to be taking hits, so he's kind of like skids in that way. Um, hope you have a way to deal with low willpower, um, the ramifications of that. All right, now we need to look into the story. The approaching storm, clouds gather to the north, and it came to pass in the days of the war, the days of the unyielding conflict, that I was praying, crying bitterly all through the night. And behold, at the break of dawn, it seemed as though all the unbelievers had gathered in a group before my mind's eye, and a man was hovering above them, surrounded by swirling clouds. The clouds grew dark and enveloped the unbelievers, and their bodies fell to a great basin and became a sea of bones. Uh, if you're playing this on the tabletop, you would need to have a few of um, pre-existing products from Fantasy Flight. Um, I think you just need Dunwich. Yeah, the Dunwich uh, scenarios will have those encounter sets. Um, but let's take a look. Uh, let's get to the prologue. It is just past noon, and the sun is relentless in its warming of the streets of Arkham. 
You are making your way down Main Street as a young boy comes running towards you, calling your name. For you, my lord. The rascal manages as he catches his breath. Meet me at the Edward Motel. Signed, Dr. H. Armitage. The handwriting is unmistakably that of your trusted friend and colleague, Dr. Henry Armitage. Of that you are certain. But what matter of business is so urgent that he had no time to provide any additional information? You turn to ask the young boy about it, but he's no longer anywhere to be found. Your eyes return to the single sentence on the wrinkled piece of paper. Determined to illuminate the matter at hand, you gather your things and make your way towards the less respectable parts of Arkham and the Edward Motel. As you arrive at the Edward Motel, Hotel, you're surprised to see Dr. Armitage exit a cab across the street from you. Not a second passes before he spots you. Wonderful, I am in much need of your counsel, he begins. Before he has a chance to say any more, you interrupt him and say what was so important he sent a messenger boy running all over the city to find you. Yes, sorry, I will explain, he says. My old friend, Professor Hunterton, is requesting my aid. He claims to have stumbled upon some grave news that is threatening Arkham, indeed the world. Your unsatisfied face quickly spur him on. He claims the many occult and extraordinary occurrences around Arkham lately has awoken something old and dark. He has tracked the activities as best he could, but needs help finding the final piece of the puzzle. He leads you into the hotel and up two flights of dimly lit stairs. The state of the hotel is even worse than you had expected. Then again, you try not to frequent these parts of the city, unless forced to. As you arrived on the second story of the hotel, Armitage knocks on the closet door. To your horror, the reply comes at once as a very alarming cry of pain. We see no time you burst through the door and are greeted by a scene much horrid. On the floor lies a man in his early forties, blood gushing from a stab wound in his back. Movement to your left catches your eye, and you see a shadow dive out the window as a gunshot goes off to your right, where an older man, smoking a revolver in hand, cries out to you, don't let him get away. We can decide to pursue the shadow at once, or provide immediate aid to the victim. I have spoiled myself on the ramifications of this choice, so I'm going to flip a coin and decide what we're going to do. Heads, we're going to pursue the shadow at once. Tails, we're going to provide aid. Tails, we're going to provide aid. So we turn to the scene of the crime. Oh no, he is dead. Armitage cries out in despair as you approach the man with the revolver. He introduces himself as Mr. Butterbirch, the late Professor Hunterton's manservant. He and his master caught a thief in the act as they returned to the room after luncheon, but instead of taking flight, the thief attacked Professor Hunterton. Just as you burst through the door, the thief dropped this. Mr. Bunderbirch explains as he points towards a small statue of a parrot laying on the floor next to the window. Add the obsidian parrot asset to one of the investigator's decks. It's not count towards deck sites. With Professor Hunterton dead and Armitage in shock, you ask Mr. Butterbirch, who seems to be keeping his calm quite well, to keep an eye on your friend as you set out after the murderer. So we do get the obsidian parrot, but we add a doom to the um, agenda, as you can see there. Otherwise, we won't be reading anything more since we're talking about resolutions at this point. So I'm going to add a doom. Shuffle the encounter deck because I'm paranoid about that. And set aside. Um, where is this? Obsidian parrot. There it is. So it's an accessory. You get plus one willpower. That'll be nice. And but if you reveal a skull or a uh, auto fail symbol, you have to discard and take a direct damage for each horror on it. All right. So it's kind of a risk reward card, for sure. Um, let me put these back in here. Interesting. We could just use it for the willpower boost. 
or take a couple of horror on it. So I'll flip that over. We need to search our deck for our hunches. Would be unsolved case, scene of the crime. Um, evidence is an insight, but we're keeping that in our deck. Um, working hunch. I put two copies of Shortcut in there. Not sure how well those are going to perform, but we'll see. No stone unturned is a nice way for some search. Logical reasoning to uh, help um, get some horror healing, but mostly to uh, help our lack of uh, willpower. Um, group all of those. Oh, we're missing one card. I always seem to miss one card when I do this. Um, let's see. No stone enter. There, now we got an 11. Let's draw our opening hand. Alright, well, we got the parrot. Um, emergency cash. Beat cop. We're missing a weapon, but beat cop puts us at a fight of five. Um, solution, if we have it out now, would be the. Uh, most opportune, um, the easiest time to use it anyway. Dodge, we probably don't need that, so we'll draw one more. Get Vicious Blow, which is okay. We start with three resources. Let's take a look at the Act Deck and Agenda Deck. A frantic search with time being of the essence, you begin to look for any clues as to where the murderer escaped. We need three clues and we must spend them at the main road. Agenda deck, a deed most foul. You have the murderer on the run, but he still needs to be caught. Un unaware of he was uh, after anything in particular, capturing him might provide answers. But most importantly, he needs to pay for what he did to Armitage's friend. You cannot let him get away. We start at the Edward Mot Hotel, meeting someone as esteemed as a friend of the doctors in this town is odd. Staying incognito must have been of most importance. And then his friend lying, laying prone on the floor is obviously dead. Blood is gushing from a stab wound in his back, his eyes wide open. The rest of the room is undisturbed. The perpetrator was after something. It appears your arrival thwarted whatever has to come. It's got two shroud. Alright, so... Classic uh, setup turn, probably. Let's see what the hunch deck gives us. Uh, shortcut. Okay. See if we need to move anywhere. Actually, that's pretty good since we don't. Um, we're going to be spending our actions doing other things. So I guess I'll shortcut myself now. Can I go to any connecting? Yeah. Sometimes those move cards make you uh, spend them uh, to unrevealed locations, or er, revealed locations. So here's the Edward Park. Got one clue. And we try to decide if he escaped via the park. Let's go ahead. We need to put a clue on it. And I'm just going to copy paste this over here. Uh, it seems to not want to uh, spawn clues on this, but that's okay. Sometimes it does it for you. Maybe because it's a mod. We're going to use our first action to play Emergency Cash and gain three resources. And then we're going to play B Cop as our, um, as our ally. Back down to two. And then I'm going to play a Parrot, I think. Uh, to help us with willpower. And then I don't know how much horror we're going to put on him or not. Seems like a bad idea. But that'll be our turn. Let's draw a card. Take the initiative. And this, by the way, is the um, the chaos bag we have. Quite a lot of bad symbols in here, um, so that'll be interesting. Um, skulls can get bad if there's a lot of criminals. Uh, cultist is a classic draw another token bad effect card. 
Um, and then the uh, the other ones are okay. The squid's gonna be really bad if we get the um, the, my, the minus five for agility thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and put a um, a doom there and draw a card. Not play assets or events. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, do some investigating. We're plus two. Uh, not gonna get it with minus four. I forgot my hunch too. Okay, working a hunch. We could use that if we actually we can't with this net voices out. So let's just try to investigate again. That is minus zero. We're not in a dark location, so we grab the clue. And I'll go ahead and move to the back alley. It must have been some time since the garbage was disposed of. The smell is not something to savor. There's one clue and two shroud. You try to deduce whether or not the culprit escaped via the back alley. So right away I can see this, um, some of these locations aren't scaling with investigators, so the um, to your advantage to have more than one person in your group. Um, so that's always interesting when that, ha that happens. I'm building, or I'm trying to script out a uh, strategy guide, which will go into that. Um, let's draw a card, gain a resource. The evidence could be good. Then we will add Doom draw card. Um, there's no dark locations at the moment, so this gets Shroud. This gets Shroud. Ancient Evils place a Doom on the agenda. That's probably bad. There's probably a reason why we're given 18 for the uh, Doom threshold. Um, there's only one agenda too, so that's that might be our entire time. Uh, let's go ahead and see what our hunch will be today. No stone unturned. Okay, not bad. I think we just want to investigate and see if we can move on. Um, I could get out the solution, I suppose, since we have time. We'll do that first. Um, I could use no stone unturned to look for a weapon. Let's uh, investigate first at plus two. Skull is going to be zero, so we get the clue. And then no stone unturned is search. It's not draw, so this is a little bit better. Uh, we'll play that then uh, for zero. Um, I'm just going to... Take these cards out of my hand and then draw six. Um, we don't have a weapon. Magnifying glass could be good. Um, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to take as a magnifying glass. All right, so put that with our cards in our hand. And then these guys we'll just put back on our deck. And shuffle it up. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, good. So flip these over. Draw a card, grab a resource, and add a doom. Uh, another one of these. Um, there's no criminal enemies, so can search again. Other in the shadows. Frozen in fear. All right, this is kind of our the bane of our existence here. Unfortunately, to test will power three to get rid of that. Otherwise, a lot of our stuff is going to take two actions. All right, we're going to go to the side road here. Side road is bustling with shady activity, even this early in the evening. And you know the bit about the culprit. Two clues. Did I? I did not need to remember punch deck goes first before doing any actions. That's just another uh, no stone unturned. Um, that needs two clues. 
We only need one more. And this doesn't have a victory point on it, so I'm not too motivated to grab both clues. Uh, we're going to play Magnifying Glass. It is fast, so it doesn't take an action up. We get um, plus one intellect while investigating, so we're now at five, and we're going to investigate against three. Rock token is zero, so we'll pick up that clue. We need to test um, Frozen in Fear now, or even, thanks to the parrot. Um, that just draws another token. Um, so this is a little weird because the chaos bag, um, it's hard for it to leave a token out. Um, there is two, um, there are two, uh, cultists here. So I'm going to move the cultist, see if I remove it and see if the bag goes, no, it's not going weird on us. Okay. If we fail, discard a card from our hand. Unfortunately, that um, that was our last turn, so we are um, we're going to have to lose a card. Unfortunately, um, it is a choice at least. So we'll put that back in there. Okay, so now we have a full um, chaos token, chaos bag. Um, evidence could be really good for us. We're kind of healthy, so dodge while it's really good. And we don't have much ways of doing extra damage, so Vicious Blow, we're going to keep that as well. So, uh, we didn't use this. It's going to be shuffled back into the Hunch deck. We draw a card, grab a resource. One is nice, but we already got B-Cop out, unfortunately. Let's uh, add a Doom and draw a card. Criminal. Retaliate. Every attacks you, lose a resource. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to take care of this guy, unfortunately. Um, let's... No, all we can do really is start fighting, so... Unfortunately, this takes an additional action. But we are... Um, five against two. And zero means he takes damage. We'll do it again. Uh, five against two. Cultist. Some. Um... Yeah, move that. Okay, minus one, so we don't lose another card. That's good. So he's dead, but that was all of our turn, which is basically we just had a big waste of time. Um, we got to test Frozen in Fear. It's too bad we can't um, can't use Take the Initiative because it's at the end of our turn and we're out of predictions. But that's some negative synergy with that card, unfortunately. Uh, minus one, so we keep that thing out. I don't think we've drawn a skull while this has been out. Hopefully, I haven't been doing that incorrectly. Um, but checking the chaos bag really fast. Let's draw a card, grab a resource. Ooh, weapon. That's exactly what we need. Exactly. Rotting Remains, test willpower 3 for each point you fail by, take a horror. Alright, uh, something we can really, actually we could use take the initiative here. Yeah, I like that. So we're plus 3 now. Zero means we uh, don't lose any, uh, take any horror, which is really good. Um, kind of want to get the... Uh, the 1911's out. So up to tool a uh, two tool assets you control do not take up hand slots. So even though this is a two-handed weapon, we can still keep out the magnifying glass, which is nice. And then it does plus one fight, deals plus one damage, and if you defeat an enemy, you can move an insight from your discard pile to the bottom of your hunch deck. Just like that. Which again, we forgot to uh, 
You got to do this hunch. Ah, that's an unsolved case. Place one of your clues. Oh, it's an event. So we have to play it. Okay, so this wasn't going to, this isn't going to happen. Let's um get rid of these clues really fast. Yeah, I did everything in the wrong order there. My bad. Okay, so um it's an event, so we have to play it. Place one of your clues on the location with the high strap. Remove from the game. If unsolved case would be shuffled in your hunch deck, add it to your threat area. For the remainder of the game, it gains force. Joe Diamond gains two fewer experience for this scenario. So we do want to actually play this, unfortunately. And we have to place a clue on the highest um, shroud, which is at least that's where we're at right now. Um, and then I guess I'll spend my last turn. Well, it was one turn. Um, I'll spend my next turn investigating, trying to get that back. That's one says I do. Okay, and then um, I can't move because I don't have an additional action. So let's take a resource, and then we will test Frozen Fear. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we pass. We can move an insight event from the discard pile to the bottom of the hunch deck. So, not the weakness. Let's take, um, either no stone unturned or shortcut. Um, or we could elect not to do it. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to elect not to do that. I want different hunches than that to show up. So, that's my reasoning. Got a vicious blow, gain a resource. Wasting a lot of time here, unfortunately, which is feels bad. Rats, speaking of wasting time. All right, let's fight this guy for plus uh, four. And we got the hunch. My goodness. Okay, that wouldn't have changed anything. Uh, let's, um, I'm going to spend that hunch just to save some actions here. We have enough clues, right? Yeah, we have enough clues. This is the main road. Let's get, let's get moving on here. So, do that. Do that. And let's see the act deck. On the verge of admitting defeat, you find a very faint blood trail leading away from the Edward Mot Hotel. The murderer must have been hit as he escaped through the window. So we discard our voter clues, remove all locations except for the main road. We'll do that right now. And we need to bring in all of uh, these other locations, the... Docks, warehouse, warehouse back, warehouse entrance, warehouse office, and warehouse staff room into play. So we'll get all of that. That's not a location. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Try not to look at the set aside, the other set aside things. Um, playing the semi blind, so. We're going to be learning about how these all connect to each other. So warehouse office does not connect to the main road. Uh, docks connect to the main road. So put them up here for the moment. Um, do this. The entrance it connects to none of these. Park or the. Uh, I'm sorry, back connects to the entrance, staff room connects to the house. This is the warehouse, it's connected to a bunch of things. It's not the main road. Let's see, what connects to the main road? It is the, just the docks. Okay. So that's connected to the docks, in which case, let's move the docks here. Okay, 
Docs is connected to the squiggly line, which is the entrance. Okay, entrance right here. Okay, it's connected to the warehouse and the docks, which makes sense. All right, this is the main hub. So let's move these all down one more spot. Okay, try to make these look a little bit better. All right, everything else is connected to the warehouse. So not the hotel, not these ones. Okay, office. Um, yeah, I think that's how it's going to look. All right, so we have all of that stuff connected. So we have the docks, we have the main road. Like so, that's not what I meant. And these started flipped over for some reason. Hopefully that didn't uh, expose anything. I wasn't really paying attention. I was looking at connecting. So um, anyway, I think that is how it's supposed to look like. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for ancient evils encounter cards and remove them from the game. All right, so. That might only be ancient evils, to be fair. We're looking for that uh, that symbol right there. I know rats is its own thing. Um, let's search. The other thing we could do is just to... Um, no, I think that's all. It's just the ancient evils. That's good, probably. <laughs> Remove those from the game. Shuffle the discard pile into the encounter deck. Make sure I don't have anything down here. I sure don't. Let's move this act deck away. Following the trail. Blood trail takes you along the main road towards the Miskatonic River and the city docks. The many warehouses along the river would be an ideal spot for anyone trying to remain hidden. We need five clues this time. And we're probably going to run into a lot of dark um, locations soon, I would assume. Um, let's go ahead and play our Colt 1911s. I think that would be a good idea. Now that we have. Now that it's a proper play. <laughs> um, so that gets four resources on it. We get to keep our tools in our hands. We just can't have like off weapons or something, or other hand slot items. Then we're gonna move here to the docks. It's our final action. There's a shroud of four and one clue. All right, let's go ahead and draw for upkeep. Got a machete. Goes over, gain a resource, and then we shall um, add a doom. Get the encounter deck going here. This invoices cannot play assets or events. That is really terrible for the hunch deck. Because um, we could have scooped up a free blue. Fortunately, we can't do that now. Um, well, I could try to investigate. At plus one, that doesn't seem like a good idea on a standard difficulty. Um, let's just keep moving, see if we can find something with a lower shroud. Although, these places aren't really connected super well to each other. Um, I could discard evidence and use it to help discover a clue. I think that's okay. So we're going to use that for its uh, intellect icons. So we are at four, five, six, seven against four. Minus four says we don't get that glue. Okay, that's no good. Um, well, we can either move or we can just make some suboptimal 
uh, investigates. I kind of want to stay pat to see if we can get lucky here. Skull is minus one for each criminal. That's zero, but that means this goes away. We didn't put any horror on it, so it's not going to hurt us. We do get the clue, though, at least. So, feels like we got something done in this turn. Let's flip over uh, our last action here and go to the warehouse entrance. You cannot enter the entrance if there are any clues in the docks location, so we didn't have any choice there. Blood trail runs into one of several old warehouses along the river. And wonder if the we'll have to get clues to keep moving. No, doesn't say. So I guess we can go to the warehouse if we really want to. You move as carefully as possible, trying to follow the blood trail without revealing yourselves. Either way, it's the end of our turn. Discard of dissonant voices. Flip these over. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Dynamite blast. Always a fun time. Playing as Jenny though, so it's not quite as good. Mobster. After he attacks, you lose a resource. Fun. All right. Well, pretty much need to just attack him and get this guy over with. So we're at a four, five. And six. Six versus two. Should be a uh, short fight. Brock is just minus two, I think. Yeah, it's dark, so minus two. Oh, we totally forgot our hunch deck again. Okay, no stun in turn. Need to remember that. I did kill the mobster, so I can add a hunch to my deck using the... Um, our signature weapon there. Um, I would like working a hunch, but we haven't played one yet. So again, I think I'm just going to let that be. I could grab evidence um, and hope that that works, and we get. But we'd have to have a timely enemy. It isn't always easy to do. No, I think I'm just going to let it go. All right. Um, let's go grab some clues, I guess. A plus two with the magnifying glass. That's a fail. And that's a win. Uh, we didn't use no stone unturned, so we shuffled back in. Is that right? We're shuffling this? Yeah. I don't have a ton of experience with Joe Diamond. As you can tell, I keep screwing up the hunch deck. Um, out of Doom. 11 out of 18. And this location gets plus two shroud, so we may have to move on. Um, let's go ahead and hope we grab something helpful. Working a hunch, perfect. It's fast, only during your turn discover a clue at your location. So, uh, again, the hunch cards are minus two cost, which is fantastic. So it's free, um, it's fast, get the clue. Um, do we have to lose this at all? No. So it just stays there forever, which is nice. Let's move to the warehouse. One clue, three, th three shout, shroud. And we can keep investigating. We only need two more clues. So, yeah, I think I'm willing to do that. Or I can play, take a resource and switch out B Cop for um, Christopher. It's another option. Help us with investigate even more. And frankly, I want to identify the solution. Um, but we can do that next turn. We'll naturally have four resources next turn. So let's just go ahead and investigate. We are plus, uh, we're five against um, three. Yep, sorry, plus two. Okay, cultist. I need to move that from the bag and take another one. Minus four, so we have to discard a card in our hand. Um, probably. Probably machete or 
the automatic um, don't know if the firearm's going to be any better than the machete at this point uh, we could discard like a vicious blow but I'd rather not so that was bad that cultist is really hurting us um, let's try one more investigate though all right at least it's nice enough to let us get the clue and move on. Four clues, we have one left to go. Um, we use the hunch. So, just our normal upkeep here. E cop we don't really need. And let's add a doom, 12 out of 18. Any dark location. Okay, so, yeah, we can. Just throw it on there, where uh, it's out of clues, so we don't need it. Um, kind of want to be greedy. I'm going to play Milan over Beacop. Use all the resources. And then I am going to... Well, I guess the solution would be plus one. We'll try that, because I'm not investigating, I'm trying to... Um, identify the solution so sure. we'll take one turn and do this and then move on if we get bad luck but we do need to reveal our hunch before we do any of that scene of the crime doesn't matter though oops uh, that was a skull that's one for each criminal so we get it uh, we need to discard it and draw two cards and then we need to write in our campaign notes Identified the solution. Awesome. Um, now we should probably get a move on with the actual scenario. Do we want to get the go to the back to the office to the staff room? Uh, let's go to the back, I guess. No clues. Hey, waste of time. We shuffle that back in. Draw a card. In resource. Uh, at least the good thing with Indebted is I know there's no weaknesses in here, so you can kind of draw um, as much as you want. Alright, 13. In the shadows. It's all we're drawing. All that we are drawing here, which is actually really lucky. Some. Um, what's our hunch? No stone enter. Okay. I'm gonna move here and then move here. So that's two actions. Go to the warehouse office. It has a clue for us in three shroud. Let's throw a clue on there. And I am going to investigate. I'm going to use, um, let's see. We're one, it's a shroud of three, right? Shroud of three. We're four, we're five, we're six, we're plus two, let's be plus four. Feel another token. Take that out. There are two cult tokens in the bag, so. Minus four, thank goodness we played Unexpected Courage, we tie with that then. And we grab the clue. Milan lets us grab a resource when we do that. Can we move on? Yes we can, we have five clues. Let's spend them and get to the next part of the show here. So, Blood Trail takes you along the main road towards the Miskatonic River and the city docks. The many warehouses along the river would be an ideal spot for anyone trying to remain hidden. The trail leads you to a dark warehouse. The air is stale and the faintest sound makes you jump. Suddenly a stack of heavy, heavy wooden crates come tumbling down, down towards you. Spawn the hooded man at the warehouse back location. 
that it? Yep. The warehouse back location, that's directly on me. Take a look at him in a second. Must test agility 5 if you fail to take 2 damage. Well, you kind of know what's going to happen here. Yeah, take 2 damage. Fortunately, we're, we haven't been hit yet, so that's good. Alright, finally, you finally stand face to face or face to hood with the murderer. Recalling the pain in Professor Armitage's voice as he saw the light in his friend's eyes go out strengthens your resolve. When the hooded man is defeated, resolution 1. So, let's see this guy. He does 2 damage, he's aloof, and has retaliate. Event cards that deal damage cannot be used against the Hooded Man. As an additional cost for an investigator to engage the Hooded Man, the investigator must first successfully pass an agility test against the man's evade value. The Hooded Man gets plus 1 agility if there is a Shadows treachery card attached to this location. After the Hooded Man takes 1 investigator damage during a single phase, the Hooded Man moves to a dark location furthest away from the investigators. So... He's not engaged with us because he's aloof, so at least he's not going to hit us. The problem is we have to pass an agility test against the hooded man's evade value, which really is bad with Joe Diamond. So we'll see if we can do this. I can't just throw dynamite on him, unfortunately. So that'll be fun. Either way. Upkeep phase and grab a resource. Let's see what our card is. Rotting remains. Test will power three. Minus one. Take two harder. I suppose I could have ditched uh, Dynamite Blast for that. That's okay. Um, our hunch. See the crime. That's not going to help. Well. If we get lucky enough, we can pass an agility test. I'm not sure what the timing window is for this. Um, do I have to uh, commit all skill cards first? Or if I can just pass the agility test and then um, go for the attack, I think is what I'm going to do. So... Alright, to try to attack him, we need to use Unexpected Courage and ditch the gun for 3 value. We're at uh, plus 3 agility, so we're at 5 against 3. Um, I have nothing else that can help me. Okay, plus 1. So we can make the attack. So we'll use... Uh, 1911s, we're going to use two vicious blows here. Um, so we're at four, five, six, seven against three. Sweet. So we're going to deal three damage to him, and he's dead. So we get to um, get to our resolution. And this is blank, of course. Resolution one. You finally have your prey cornered. As you close in, you hear shouts and police whistles at the entrance of the warehouse. Your momentary lapse in focus is all the hooded man needs as he darts towards a small window at the back, and via the fire escape, jumps into the Miskatonic River. As the police notice you, you are unable to pursue. You inform them of what you know before returning to the hotel, only to find the crime scene off limits. Armitage, who has regained his composure, takes you back and brings you, along with Mr. Butterbirch, Mr. Hunderson's manservant, back to his apartment. In your campaign log, record that you almost caught the hooded man. We gain four experience points, and then we proceed to the next piece of the puzzle. Let's uh, take a look at that in a second. But we're going to write down our campaign notes here. Almost caught the hooded man. We got four experience points. And we need to go to page four here. So. We 
Page 4. Um, next piece of the puzzle. Back in the safe confines of your friend's apartment, you learn that Dr. Armitage and Mr. Butterbirch took with them all that they thought too important to leave for the office. Please. Mr. Hunterton had purchased tickets for all of you to accompany him on the riverboat, the Kaiser Wilhelm, which is currently in Arkham before a continuance journey north along the Miskatonic on the morrow. But to what end, you are currently unable to deduce. The culprit seems to have been after some of Mr. Hunterton's items pertaining to the case he was researching. Several dusty old books, a page from an old manuscript, and an obsidian statue of a parrot. You study the old manuscript, but soon abandon your efforts as you realize you are in need of more information to be able to deduce anything from the strange writing. Hoping for more clues, you turn to the strange statue. You turn it around, tap it, even gently try to bend it, but all is for nothing. Whatever it is Dr. Armitage's friend has uncovered, its secrets remain out of reach. Perhaps the old books can help shed some light on the matter. Books will have to wait, Armitage interrupts you. Professor Hunterton purchased those tickets for us for a reason. There must be something of importance on that riverboat, and we need to be aboard it before it leaves tomorrow morning. Very well, Mr. Bunder Birch, Butter Birch replies. I will see this through Liet. My master's work must be finished. If the obsidian parrot asset is not an investigator's deck, add it to one of their decks. Add Telly under the pieces of manuscript found. Add the Butter Birch ally to one of the investigator's decks. Add the Armitage ally found in Dunwich to one of their decks as well. Alright, so that's the end of the scenario. We will, uh, let's take a look at the ally we just got, or the both allies we just got. Um, let's see, probably the last card right here. Okay, he is cost four, two and two, reaction when a skill test is successful. When you commit a skill card, you can heal one horror. And if you draw an auto fail in which you to a test in which you committed a skill card, deal damage to Butterbirch. Alright, interesting. And I think we had Yeah, pouch here with from Dunwich. Which we can grab Armitage here. And when you draw a card you can discard it instead to gain three resources. So not bad. So we're going to add both of those to our deck, and then we will go to Scenario 2, Dark Waters. Hope you enjoyed your time here, and until next time, have a good one.